Hello kids, this is teacher Lou. How are you today? Lesson four. To start the lesson today, we are going to do an exercise online, right? We are going to watch a movie segment of the movie Real. That movie segment reviews daily routine. To access the exercise, you need to access the link, that link right below the picture. It's also available for you to click on the descriptions of this video, ok? Essa atividade que eu preparei para os alunos é muito legal. Ela é uma atividade que deve ser feita num link externo. O, o endereço do link está disponível aqui no vídeo e também está disponível nos comentários do vídeo. Things we do every day. So let's look at the pictures and tell me what they are. So the first picture is... I get up. What about the second picture? What time is it? 7 o'clock. Now, I want you to add both of the information that we have here in one sentence. And we, to do that, we need to add a little word. Do you know what word do you need to add here to form the sentence? We need to use the word at. So that means the sentence is going to be formed like this. I get up at 7 o'clock. Let's repeat with me. I get up at 7 o'clock. Okay, so every time we tell time in a sentence, we must use at. Let's try another one. Now, let's look at these two pictures and form the sentence. The first picture is... I have breakfast. That's right. And what about the second picture? Let's look at the clock and tell me what time is it. It's 7.30. Excellent. Now, to form this sentence, we need the little word. Do you remember what little word we need in the middle? At. Very good, guys. Now, let's, let's repeat the sentence with me, okay? I have breakfast at 7.30. One more time. I have breakfast at 7.30. What about you? What time do you have breakfast? Let's try this one. Look at the two pictures and tell me what is the activity and what time it's on the clock. I have lunch at 12.15. Very good. Now try one more time. Let's see if we can form the sentence. Okay, so the sentence is, I do my homework at 4.05. Very good, let's repeat with me. I do my homework at 4.05. Now, what about you? What time do you do your homework? One more. Pay attention to the pictures and form the sentence. I take a shower at 8.45. Excellent, guys. Be careful when you're looking at the clock, okay? Remember, the small pointer is the hour and the big pointer are the minutes, all right? So, it's 8.45. Let's try one more. Here we have the last activity you do before the end of your day, okay? We do that activity at night. So, please form the sentence for me.
I go to bed at 10 o'clock. Remember, when you have the exactly hour with no minutes, we use the word o'clock. So, I go to bed at 10 o'clock. What about you? What time do you go to bed? Do you go to bed at 10 o'clock? Writing practice. What do you do every day? For this activity, you need to use your notebook, ok? Para essa atividade, os alunos devem escrever as frases no caderno. In your notebook, remember to write the date and the title. What do you do every day? Ok? And then you're going to write sentences for me. Look at the pictures, one, two, and three, and form sentences. Here we have in the morning, in the afternoon, and at night. And then we have the activities and the time he does the activities every day. So, you're going to write sentences just like that. In the morning, I get up at 5.50. And then you continue, ok? Para essa atividade, os alunos devem escrever... Um parágrafo falando da rotina de cada uma das figuras. Por exemplo, número 1, um, nós temos in the morning, a figura get up e o time 5.50. Então, os alunos devem escrever in the morning, I get up at 5.50. E assim, continua com as outras figuras e os outros números. Now, the next activity you're going to form in your student's book. So, please open your student's book to page 80. Vocabulary Unit 5, number 1. Look and match. So, the students are going to match the pictures to the names. Então, os alunos devem ligar as figuras aos nomes. For example, number 1 is letter B. I get up. Exercise number two, look and write. So, for this activity, the students must complete the gap with the words in the box. For example, number one, I do my homework every day. Então, para essa atividade, os alunos devem completar os espaços com as palavras dentro da caixinha. E para o exercício número 3, number 3, read and write. Look at the clocks and write the time. Os alunos devem completar os espaços com o horário que está dentro de cada relógio. For example... When it's 7 o'clock in the morning in Mexico. It's 8 o'clock in the morning in New York. Prestem atenção nas expressões. We use in the morning, in the afternoon, at night. All right? A próxima atividade será em folha, ela está disponível para download. Se não for possível imprimir, os alunos podem responder no caderno. If you write in your notebook, please remember, write the title, Unit 5, What do you do every day? So, exercise number one, look and write. For this activity, you must look at the pictures and the clock and write the complete sentence. Para essa atividade, os alunos devem olhar nas figuras e no relógio e escrever a frase completa. Da mesma forma que nós praticamos anteriormente.
Exercise number two. Now you, what time do you do your routine activities? Para essa atividade, os alunos devem escrever frases pessoais do horário que eles fazem cada uma das rotinas. Let's look at the example. Letter A. Take a shower. I take a shower at 9 o'clock at night. Então, nesse caso, os alunos devem substituir o horário com o horário que eles fazem essa atividade. E a mesma coisa continua com get up, go to school, have lunch, take a shower. No caso, eles vão escrever o horário deles, dessa forma. Do homework and go to bed. When you finish, don't forget to check your answers. Okay, kids, that's all for today. Have a great day. Bye-bye.